at one point we lived in two rooms with an outside toilet and a coal bunker, and then the, the, a car would arrive from Pinewood Studios to take me off to get my costume fitting with, um, uh, with, uh, um, not, oh gosh, um, the poet Ralph Lauren, who did all the costumes oh, for, for, the great for The Great Gatsby. Gatsby. Yeah. So I was going between these two polar opposite worlds, yeah, yeah. loving them both. I love going home, but I saw so much, and then I went to Russia. So how are you, when you did The Great Gatsby, you were how old? Four, four, uh, four or five. Four or five, yeah. you? Oh, yeah, look at that. Which they're, they're remaking now. Are. Baz Luhrmann's doing it. I can't wait to see his version of it. Yeah, it seems to be stalled, the Baz Luhrmann one. It was meant I, to come I out. Bet they're, they're working. I, I bet it I'm sure great. it will. He's, he's pretty amazing. Uh, so, you're working, uh, you, so you're four or five. You're working uh, with Mia Farrow and, and, uh, and Robert Redford uh, and then home to yeah. the two-room house yeah. with the, with the, with the with toilet the outside. outside. Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it was home. I loved it. But yeah. I loved seeing and this other world. And then I got this movie called The Bluebird with um, that George Cukor, who's a very famous old school American director, was shooting in Russia at that time in the 70s. So the Iron Curtain could have closed at any minute. And you were, what, six or seven? I was six. Right. Uh, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor was in it, Ava Gardner, Jane Fonda. Wow. Um, and I got the part. And we were... Oh, there you are, yeah. yeah. And we Cute. went off to... Uh, it was called Leningrad then, St. Petersburg yeah. now. Um, and of course, it was very different then. It was, was, it was a, behind the iron curtain. Well, the, thing, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. there was nothing. I mean, it, we all thought our phones were bugged. And it was in a, a, at a time when Elizabeth and Richard had just split up, I think, for the first time or got, got divorced. And she was with uh, some, she was the most wonderful woman, by the way. I mean, do you remember all this well? Because I'm thinking when I was six, I don't know what I was doing, picking my nose or something, but I don't actually remember it. You, you were having this amazing life, do you, but you remember it all. Well, do you? you see, I do remember. I've got a, I have got a really good memory, yeah. um, contrary to what I said earlier. <laughs> not, not remember anything, but um, you have to understand that I was taken from into some, from the, something that was kind of like you know not grey but not very colourful to in, like Technicolor. Yes. With these people who were just incredible and so generous and giving and interesting and I guess I had had a mind and a, and a and a thirst to learn. Yeah. And so we're all in this hotel in Leningrad. You had to book calls out of the country in those days. You couldn't just pick up pick up the phone. Yeah. So Elizabeth would come down to our suite and she'd knock on the door and say, Margie, I'm going to come down to run lines with Patsy later because Richard and I are going to be talking because she was they were going to get back together. So of course, for my mum seeing all this going on, I had she no idea. She was making the phone calls. She came from, down from, and made a couple. I see. So all this was going on. Yeah. Ava Gardner, who was in the film and is just, you know, one of the, was one of the most beautiful, intoxicating women ever on cinema. She's she'd be doing headstands. She was into yoga, headstands with a glass of champagne in her hand in the hallway. And then we'd all, Elizabeth would say, right, we're going to the Kirov tonight or the Bolshoi, and we'd be sitting in the Tsar's box watching, you know, Swan Lake or Sleeping Beauty, and then going back backstage and meet, meeting, uh, you know, Alexandra Goodenough as a dancer there at the, yeah, uh, yeah. at the time. I think he's passed away, sadly, now.